Welcome to Film Crux, I'm Lion Elton. Today we're gonna give you nine gorgeous free LUTs that you can use in your next project, and we're gonna show you how to use those LUTs in Adobe Premiere Pro so you can make your next project look bangerang. So the first step is that you're gonna download these LUTs. If you're on YouTube, there's a link down in your description. And if you're not on YouTube, you can just go to filmcrux.com, click on free stuff, you can get the LUTs, you can get some free letterbox templates while you're there, or whatever else we have available. Once you download them, you're just gonna go into Adobe Premiere Pro, then, once you're here, you're just going to go to your footage, you're going to look over here at your bin, you're going to right click, and you're just going to go to new item and adjustment layer. You're just going to make an adjustment layer, the same dimensions as your footage, drag that on top. You just stretch it out to be the length of the clips you want to edit, and then you're going to go to effects, then you're going to go to video effects, color correction, and lumetri color. Drag this on top of the adjustment layer. Once you have that, you'll see it over here in your effects panel. Just click on basic correction, and then where it says input LUT, you just click the drop down, go to browse, and then you just find the LUTs. They're called Grecian Ideal LUTs by Film Crux. They'll be wherever you save them. You just choose the one you want. We use Phylos for this example. Click open, and that's it. You're done, gorgeous. But let's say you want to tweak it a little, you can like change the color temperature or do any other tweaks you want, and uh, it should look pretty amazing without much work. So if you like this, go check out Film Crux right now, go download your LUTs, and then uh, definitely subscribe to the channel. We're going to have more stuff like this. Turn on post notifications, hit like, you don't have to abuse the like button, but just a soft, controlled touch of the like button should be perfect, and we'll see you next time.